I hope this is okay. Besides the fact that my hair is fucked up, which I gotta fix. I haven't been on my game lately. And no, I'm not talking as if I fell down a dark path. I fell off the horse, I got off the wagon. No, it has nothing to do with that. I'm actually doing fucking great. But in terms of doing the best things possible for me, not really. Couple of things. There's my cat. Say hi. Hi. Okay, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. So we're in my other side of my basement now. I currently don't have a gym membership and I was working out at my old job, which obviously I don't have anymore. The point was to finish that, go to the high school because they just redid their entire weight room. So it's a beautiful weight room. It just got approved last week. So I'm finally back in the gym. So I wasn't able to work out for like three or four weeks, but I was losing weight the whole time. So I was just eating way less and then not working out. So that balanced itself out. The only issue with that is it's in a high school. I don't wanna film when there's other kids in the high school, like in the weight room. Do I think it's creepy? No, I don't, I, don't, I just don't wanna film and like get them in the shots and stuff like that. So I'm trying to be wary of that. I'm trying to figure out if I can get there in the morning so that no one's in there at least. If I wanna film like workout content, cause obviously we need to, that's what we wanna do. I can't do it after school. There's too many people in there. If it was a regular gym, I wouldn't care, but I don't wanna do that with kids in there. Ow. Go back to sleep. Thank you. So even though I don't want to film there, this is actually where I'm going right now. I'm going to work out. It's a half day. So if I go now at one, I would hope that there's nobody in there. So at least I can show you some stuff. So we're hitting legs today. I'm going to do heavy front squats, uh, heavy box front squats, not heavy front squats. I'm not there yet, but I still like lifting heavy now and again. So we're going to do legs, heavy front squats on a box some lunges, some hamstring stuff, some leg curls, you know, the basic shit. It's a nice place, but there's not enough leg accessory stuff to do. So you gotta just kind of make it up as you go. I do legs once a week. So honestly, every leg day is kind of brutal. I just started working out again last week, like the tail end of the week, like Thursday. But before that, I didn't work out for three or four weeks. The way you counteract that is you just eat less. Cause I have the formula for myself of how many calories I need to eat and how much I need to move per day. Not work out, just move. And I based it off this little Fitbit thing. This little thing tells me I moved about 13,000 to 15,000 steps a day. The weight goes down, most days. If I just keep that consistently going, we're doing great. I think we're, we're up to 37 pounds down. It's honestly been pretty easy. So when I wasn't working out, I just cut it down to like 24, 25-ish hundred. So it was only 300 calories less. And there were still days where I was still walking 12,000 to 15,000 steps. So uh, I really didn't change anything. But there was one thing that did change, which is why I hope this is okay because I wasn't dieting the way I'm supposed to. And by, by dieting, I don't really call it a diet, but just I wasn't eating as good as I could have. And here's why, after we work out. Best part, forgot fucking headphones. On fucking leg day, fuck. And of course, when I'm front squatting, that second rep, my lower left side just got hot. I think what I did was instead of like rolling with it on the sit, I almost bounced it. I didn't do it intentionally. And maybe I let go of my core. And you could be like, well, why aren't you wearing a belt? I wasn't wearing a belt because I've been doing this. I've front squatted three times already, like in the last like week and a half. I was working on my core. And I guess I, for a split second, I let go of my core. And then that just happened. So we're gonna see how that feels later. I just stretched and hopefully it's, okay and not an issue because if i have a lower back problem again i'm gonna be fucking pissed anyways i gotta go to practice we'll continue the conversation later so i talked to my uh, trainer friend at the high school she thinks i pinched a nerve so that was not what this video was supposed to be about it kind of hurts right now so keep you updated on that let you know if this hurts in the meantime y'all are not ready for this sour cream peppers and onions cut up steak provolone cheddar Provolone. Now the fun part. Just 
to melt it. Melt off all the chemicals. I love it. Look at that. Cilantro, because it is still tacos. And then you have it some cheesesteak tacos. Oh yeah. I'm gonna eat this now, and then uh, we'll talk after, and then finish this up. The fridge broke, and we just got it back. But it was broke for like three weeks. So we're gonna talk more about that later. The other part, not being able to work out, that's one thing. I, it's whatever. The other part was the fridge broke. So there was like two weeks of having no fridge, so I was just eating, you know, processed shit, garbage shit. And I've said before multiple times, like when I eat processed food, when it's mostly out of a package or something like that, like my body just doesn't react very good to it. I was just kind of eating what I could and just walking a lot. So I was able to manage to actually still lose weight. There was a week or two where I think I, I stalled because I think I was just eating too much. I don't know if I have a video of it, but I weighed in most recently at 312.4 was the low weigh-in of the week, but it's been hovering around 12.4 to like 12.8 so i would just say i'm roughly around 312 which puts us at 38 pounds down and i'm honestly not trying very hard i just work out i eat what i'm supposed to in terms of calories i make sure my protein is hit which that was another thing my protein was not hit for probably a month it's just walking a lot this little stupid fitbit thing which i don't think is accurate at all even if you're inaccurate if you're still accurate about being inaccurate you're going to be accurate does that make sense so even if I don't get 15,000 steps a day because it includes the workouts, it includes cardio, it includes all that shit, if I'm hitting 15,000 steps a day and my shit's going down still, we're okay. It just sucks because I was actually filming a video for a 16 week weight loss thing. We were gonna go fucking ham. I had this whole thing planned out. And then of course the gym stopped, the fridge broke. And that was only for like two weeks that the fridge broke. But when we fixed it, we didn't stock it for like another week. So that was like three weeks. And usually what I would do in the past is if something like that happened, I'd be like, well, fuck it now. We'll start over in a month or whenever this is fixed. Let's go spend $40 at McDonald's and you know, we'll start over in a month. But I didn't do that. What I realized is in a month, if I didn't, if I stopped, I would have said to myself today or you know, last week, why the fuck did I stop a month ago? Why didn't I just keep going and just figure it the fuck out? I'm finally learning that. It took me a long fucking time, but it, I'm finally learning it because life sucks. It's great, but life fucking sucks because life just constantly throws shit at you. It's never gonna go the way you want. It's never gonna be smooth. It's never gonna be easy. So if you have a plan, you have to just be ready to adjust, ready to audible because there's always something. The whole summer, I was doing good. You know, I was eating right, working out. Finally planned something that I wanted to do, especially for this, because I started filming for it, but then it stopped because where I couldn't work out, I couldn't eat properly, and I could have just said, fuck it, because you could either just roll over and die, or you could just keep going. Life is never gonna be nice to you. You just gotta keep rolling with the punches, you gotta just keep going. Cause I used to find it so easy that I could just point the finger, blame somebody else, blame something as to why I couldn't do something. And that's bullshit, that's just excuses. It's constant, life is just gonna keep throwing shit at you and you could either make excuses, instead of life trying to knock you down, you can grab by the throat, fucking choke it and fucking throw it back at everything else. Because you are in control of you. You control how you react to things, but how you react is the way that things are gonna go. So you can sit there and blame other things, blame other people, when really it's your fault. You have to take accountability. And I'm talking to you, but I'm really just talking to myself. And that's what I would do. I would blame other things as to why I had to stop doing something. I blamed other things or other people as to why I couldn't do something. And I'm not doing that anymore, fuck that. But there's also just one other thing I wanna talk about really quick, and that's, I'm busy. I work, I coach, and coaching is close to, if not 40 hours a week on its own. So it's like having two jobs, and it's Monday to Sunday. There's no day off. I have those two things. I run two channels, this one and the other one, and then I post to six different social media accounts. There's a lot going on. The quality of my videos are gonna decrease, but I can still be able to edit and post them very quickly. If my video seems simpler, it's because of that. And I think a lot of these YouTubers in general, a lot of them now they have like fucking a Netflix documentary team with them at all times and they do all the editing, they do all the shit. They don't do anything anymore. It's all other people, outside sources, but it's like, it's a YouTube video. I appreciate certain things, but it's gotten really out of hand and I can't keep up with that. If I have time, I'll be able to film some dope shit. For now, it's gotta be cut back a little bit because it's just, if I wanna be able to consistently post and you gotta just bear with me a little bit because you know life gets crazy. And if I can edit easily and post, that's what's gonna be. So I just hope that's all right for you. And if not, I understand. I I've been making simpler videos and I can edit them and post them pretty quickly. And I can even, I'll even point out the time right now of how long it took me to edit this video. I haven't started yet, but I can probably get this video out in a day. But that's really everything. Just, you know, the gym, 
the fridge and food, the working out, the editing. It's crazy, man. <laughs> but it's just a matter of keeping going, keep doing what you love, and that's it. So I'm going to eat this. Uh, it's game day, and uh, hopefully we get the win. And that's that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for understanding. And I'll talk to you in the next one. So that's all I got for you today. So get out of here. It's been fun.